Hey, this is Robert. Today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new Virtual Studio 12. Um, this studio is designed to have um, lots of different kinds of backgrounds and setups um, that you can use in your animations and productions. Um, this particular one I'm going to show you on this uh, in this tutorial example. Um, I'm actually going to split up these tutorials maybe into two or three or four different um, uh, tutorials so they're not quite so long. Um, in this particular one, we're going to um, learn how to create uh, this setup here in uh, Premiere Pro. This is Premiere Pro CS5. Um, you see we have a new newscaster um, sitting at a desk, um, some background animations going on, uh, animated monitor with a background animation, and, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, so first, let me um, delete everything in this, uh, uh, in this project here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new sequence, and uh, you choose your settings as far as how large you want the file or the the um, sequence and, and that kind of thing. I'm going to call this one um, News One. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import uh, the files that we're going to use. Um, these are the different files that I have set up for this tutorial example, and I'll show you the different files we're going to use. We're going to use this uh, Breaking News Motion Background. Um, this broadcaster um, on a shot on a green screen, and then we're going to use this uh, animation right here, um, the desk go four with the animated monitor. Um, so I'll select all three of these and drag them into our project bin. All right. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, add maybe a couple more um, uh, video layers onto our sequence here so that we'll have enough room to do what we need to do. So if you right click on uh, your uh, video one layer, um, you can select add tracks. And then once you do that, you say add uh, however many video tracks you want. I'm just going to put five in there because we we'll probably won't use them all, but, uh, but we'll just go ahead and throw them in there so that we have enough room. And I'm not going to worry about the audio so much. I'm going to kind of scale that down a little bit. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, right-click on the uh, video eight layer there. I'm going to rename that one talent. So that's where our talent will go. And then I will drag our talent footage down onto the timeline there. You can kind of see that he pops in there. Um, so the first thing we need to do for this particular piece of footage is uh, crop out the pieces that we don't need and then apply the other uh, chroma key to uh, remove the green <coughs> from, this, uh, from, this, from this video footage. Um, so if you go to uh, the effects tab here where, uh, where you can get to all of your effects, um, what I like to do usually is just start uh, typing in the name of the effect that I want to use in this instance, um, in this little search box. If you start typing in crop, um, then you'll see that in the video effects tab, uh, or video effects folder, underneath transform, there's a crop um, uh, effect. And you just drag that onto your talent layer, and then in your effect controls tab here, uh, you'll see that it... Um, gives you a crop effect. Um, if you drop this down, you'll see that there's a crop left, top, right, and bottom. Um, we're going to crop um, the left to start with, so we'll crop in from the left, and you can kind of see that the uh, how it works there. And then uh, we'll do the right, kind of crop it in a little bit, and then we'll crop in from the bottom just a hair as well. Just like that. Um, and you know, one thing I forgot to mention in this particular um, uh, shot, um, this man was shot with a, uh, a desk um, in the foreground in front of his uh, lap um, with a green screen, uh, actually just a green cloth really, um, draped over top of the, uh, of the desk. And this is a great way to kind of mimic a, uh, a fake desk and uh, utilize a, um, you know, um, um, Use, utilize a virtual desk in, uh, in a green screen video production. Um, so let me turn that crop back on. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is apply the, uh, the chroma key um, that will take out uh, the chroma in this background, the green. And so if I start typing in chroma key, there's a chroma key plugin. Um, and I'll show it to you real quick. It doesn't do a very good job. This is kind of their built in chroma key um, plugin. And it does okay, but it doesn't do a very good job of removing 
the key cleanly. Um, you'll kind of see if you try to use it that you'll get a lot of this kind of green and um, around the edges and all that stuff. And it just, just doesn't really do a good job. So let me delete that uh, effect. And if I go and say key, there's a built-in um, effect called Ultra Key. And Ultra Key is, uh, is definitely a lot better to use, especially within Premiere. Um, and it will do a better job of uh, removing that excess key out of the shot. Um, so what we'll do is uh, on the effects control tab <clears throat> underneath ultra key, you'll select this little dropper and then select the uh, the green fabric in the background. You can already see that it's kind of a cleaner edge. There's still some cleanup work to be done, um, but it's definitely got a cleaner edge than the, uh, the other um, keyer. Um, and then you want to just basically you just want to kind of drop down um, the different um, uh, uh, effect controls and adjust them to um, get the, the the desired effect that you're wanting to get. So we're going to drop down this highlight and then maybe reduce the uh, shadow. And let's see, just kind of adjust these a little bit. And it's the pedestal adjustment right there seems to get it just right. And so we've basically isolated this guy really nicely on the uh, on the animation there. I'm going to mute him so he's not bothering me. Um, okay, so now we've got the uh, we've got the the talent layer. And the next thing that we're going to do is to bring down the virtual studio layer. So this is the uh, this is the main virtual studio layer there. We'll drag that down onto this next timeline. Zoom in just a hair. All right, and so you can see the animation there of the virtual studio. Kind of comes down. We've got our little green screens that we're going to remove and replace with uh, some different B-roll footage. Um, so right-click on this video uh, seven layer and rename it. We're going to call this one virtual or studio like that. Um, <clears throat> And the other thing that we've got to do is we've got to position our uh, talent layer so that he is in line with the desk and in the right position. Um, so if we uh, if we actually lock down the studio layer, we can come over here to our um, our um, um, this view and select um, the talent and kind of position him as needed. And technically, if you if uh, uh, if you need to do a little bit more fine-tuned adjustments, you can come over here to the effects controls, go to motion, um, change his position through the number sliders, or also scale him up and down if you needed to uh, do any of that kind of um, adjustment as well. Um, okay. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, um, one thing, I, uh, this is a nice studio layer, but for me, for, for this particular shot, um, I think that the, the background is a little bit too bright. It's a little bit too uh, punchy as far as the colors are concerned. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of adjust the, um, um, the saturation down just a little bit. And uh, to do that, you come over to your effects controls or your effects uh, browser here. And uh, you can look up HLS, and that stands for... Hue, Lightness, and Saturation. And so you can adjust your saturation down just a hair, just to kind of take off a little bit of the edge on the background. So it's not quite so bright. Maybe blends in a little bit better with the lighting that he has. Um, you can also adjust you know, lightness if you need to, if you need to boost the lightness. Um, another thing that you can do is if you would rather change the colors in the background a little bit, um, you can adjust the colors by changing the hue. So you could go for like a blue background, green, purple kind of thing. Um, you can basically just adjust that to whatever you need it. Um, so we're just going to adjust the saturation down just a hair. Um, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to knock out the green in these main monitors here. So we've got these little, uh, these little um, static monitors up here and then this animated monitor right there. And so we'll use the same uh, ultra key plugin to, uh, and we're going to drag it and apply it to the virtual studio layer. And in our effects controls panel, drop it down, eyedropper, 
select the green in the background there, um, and it, it should come out pretty pretty clean because this is a uh, is a is a true green. There's no wrinkles or anything like that in this background. Um, but if you do run into some trouble, you can make some adjustments and that kind of thing to um, fine tune that a little bit. Um, Okay, and so next um, we're going to add in our um, our B-roll layer, which basically is going to be um, this animation here, the animation that's going to show up behind the uh, gentleman here, and the animation that's going to kind of show up right up in that area right there. Um, so I'm going to hide uh, our newscaster for just a second so that we can kind of see what we're doing a little bit. Um, so I will um, click the eyeball on his layer so that he goes away. And then next I'll drag the this breaking news animation down onto the timeline. And you can see with the chroma key then it's a full screen graphic that it shows up through all the uh, the whole thing. Um, so you could have one large graphic that basically works throughout the whole studio like that if you wanted to. You can kind of see how that works. Um, or if you want to you can scale down your graphic and just show it within just one monitor at a time and that's what we're going to do so uh, I'll right click on this video 6 layer I'm going to rename it b-roll and then I will select this layer uh, I'm going to come up to the effects controls go to motion I'm going to drag on scale to scale it down a bit and then I'm going to uh, lock the studio layer so that I can come over here to my monitor and um, position it using my mouse because that makes it a little bit easier to move it around and then you can kind of scale it up and down and since we've got that chroma key on it it kind of acts as a uh, as a mat around this animated layer here but what I kind of want to do is make the um, make the b-roll footage um, tilted in the same way as the, uh, as the as the animation here and so uh, if you come over to the uh, effects um, library and start typing in 3d there is a basic 3D in the perspective effect folder. There's a basic 3D effect that you can apply to layers that will give you that tilt and swivel control. And I believe we're looking for tilt. Nope, we're looking for swivel. I always make that mistake. Um, and so you can kind of adjust the tilt and swivel so that it kind of ma mimics the um, uh, the angle of that uh, monitor there. And so you can see now that uh, our animation comes down. And then uh, our B-roll animation plays in the background there. And so these other monitors here, um, you can have them play pretty much whatever you want. I mean, it could be it could be an, you know another version of this animation here. It could be a different animation. Um, it could just be black if you want to leave it black, so there's not quite so much movement going on. Um, you just do whatever you want. Um, but just for um, just to kind of show you how to, how to do it, uh, I'm going to throw the um, the um, B-roll back there as well. So I'm going to copy this um, this breaking news animation. Um, I'm going to copy it onto this layer here. Oops. There. Nope. Get on there. There. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to name this one B Roll 2. And I will lock the other layers and then move it to right there. Reset my swivel to nothing. Uh, scale it down a bit. There. And then maybe position that just a little bit. Yeah, something like that maybe. All right. And then I'm going to um, make one more layer, and I'm going to say, rename this one B-Roll 3. And then I'll take the, or I'll copy this, this layer here. Lock down the other layers. Move it, if it'll let me. Oh, you know what? It's got to be above that layer. Hide that layer so I can see what I'm doing. There. Move it up. Let's 
scaled up a bit. Kind of generally just place that one in place there. All right, and so now we'll bring um, turn the uh, different uh, layers back on there. And we'll play through. We've got our animated monitor coming in with um, the animation going. We've got our <clears throat> newscaster leaning up against a virtual desk uh, with his papers on the ground there. And uh, multiple videos that are playing in the background uh, makes it kind of a full scene. And that's it for uh, this tutorial. I'll probably do uh, maybe two or three other tutorials for some different layouts for this uh, studio series. Um, so I'll put those in the description. Um, so please do click on the description um, and uh, look at the other tutorials for the other layouts. And appreciate you watching. Thanks.